Apple has a great reputation when it comes to product marketing. I mean, they have created some of the most critically acclaimed ad campaigns in history. The Macintosh 1984 Super Bowl commercial directed by Ridley Scott, the iPod Silhouette ads, the Think Different campaign, the Get a Mac ads, the iPhones, there's an app for that campaign. All of these highly effective and culturally influential advertisements are why Apple is considered one of the greatest marketing companies of all time. But no company is perfect. Even Apple has suffered from weak advertising. Remember the genius television ads featuring a pretentious Apple genius who wore his uniform in questionable social situations? Not, 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 no, no. Or the recent, what's a computer iPad ad? What you doing on your computer? What's a computer? Featuring a girl who was clearly old enough to know what a computer is. These slip-ups may be rare for Apple, but other recent ads for Apple Watch and iPad Pro have left a lot to be desired. They aren't particularly memorable and sometimes rely on overused stereotypes to get a point across. Hate it. Or even multitask. Multi-hate. I've been hoping Apple would get back to their creative roots and make a truly simple yet inventive ad campaign. Something that wowed me, like the web series for iPhone 5C. A truly underrated ad campaign. Well, two days ago, Apple shared new ads for iPhone 10 and HomePod, and I'm happy to say Apple has got their groove back. Let's look at the iPhone 10 ad first. I love it. It's psychedelic, playful, visually captivating, and impossible to forget. The Animoji feature is communicated in a clear and entertaining way, showing viewers just how fun it can be to use Animoji on iPhone X. The concept of the ad was executed brilliantly and proves Apple still has original and creative minds in their advertising department. But they didn't stop there. Here's a couple of their short HomePod ads. Again, brilliant visuals that are characteristic of Apple. Simple yet captivating, all while communicating a key feature of the product. One thing all of these great ads share is their focus on one feature of the product. The an emoji on iPhone 10, the powerful sound of HomePod, the music playback on iPod, and the App Store on iPhone. When Apple hones in on a great feature, they typically share that feature in a very creative and memorable way. But when they include too many aspects of a product, it can result in a forgettable advertisement without a clear purpose. I hope Apple keeps up this streak of great ads, especially with their Macintosh line. That way, if we're lucky, we'll never have to hear this girl say, What's a computer? Again. <laughs>